So the Union Depository is paying out 900,000 this week, as you can see on the board behind me. Now, there's multiple ways to do. There's different strategies you can do to do this heist or contract. And to be honest with you, it's probably one of the easiest contracts you can do. And you get, well, right now anyway, for this week, three times pay. So 900,000 uh, for doing this, which literally takes like 20, 22 minutes. But when I tell you guys, I did a video a couple months ago when this happened. And I did a video showing you how to skip the escape part by getting drunk. <laughs> when I tell you the response I got to that video in the comment section, it's become kind of a meme over the last few months, but people still bring it up every now and then. But the comments were the funniest thing like it, that ever happened. It was people trying to like do this. So some people jokingly, obviously, or at least I hope jokingly, said they personally got drunk. They were like, oh, you said you have to do it drunk. And they got, yeah, that was just funny. Those were the, for the memes. But other people, let me just tell you, <laughs> some people just didn't understand how to drink the beer. And they would say that it didn't work for them. They didn't pass out. So, <laughs> so what ended up happening is all that happened was they ended up having to do the part that they wanted to skip whilst drunk. <laughs> So they couldn't, their aim was awful. They were slopping and slipping all around all over the place. And I just thought that was hysterical. I was in stitches laughing, looking at some of those comments. Just imagining people being like, okay, I really suck at the part at the end where you have to take out all the SWAT and things. So let's see if I can skip it. And then, then all that happens is they end up getting absolute sloppy drunk and have to do it in game while drunk. That just made me giggle. I'm going to be honest with you. So anyway, in yesterday's video, I had mentioned that video and I linked it at the end of the video as well and in the description. And it looks like some of you guys went over and watched it, but there was still some comments of how to do it. And in all honesty, I really wanted to try this again anyway, because it was so much fun. Um, and there was better ways to do it. Even since last time I did it, there is better ways. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But well, we're going to do it. So the first thing, obviously, let's get up out of our seat as comfortable as I am right here. Um, you need to make sure, obviously, you have an auto shop. They are currently on sale for 30% off. So are the upgrades. Um, and then you need to have the union depository contract. Now, if you haven't done this contract yet and it's not showing up on your board, either A just do one of the other missions because they're all still fairly simple and paying out some decent money this week. Or if you don't want to, you don't have enough time, start one of the other missions. And as soon as it takes you outside, just go ahead and call Sasansa, cancel it. And then when you come back in, the union depository should be on there. It basically just refreshes them. If it's not, do the same thing again. But anyway, since I already did a video yesterday showing you guys um, the way I do the setups for this, these two, if you haven't seen it, go check out yesterday's video. I'll leave that linked in the description and at the end of this video as well. Um, but that is, if you just want to know the fastest, easiest way, the way that I find the fastest, easiest way for the elevator key and the vault code, check out that video. So I'm not going to be showing that in this video. So I'm just going to do these real quick and then we'll get to what we need in order to skip the escape. All right, let me do this real quick. All right, and just like that, we're done. But first thing, make sure you get some armor, whether that's from your agency like I'm doing right now, or if you can go to ammunition or something like that, or you can go to the uh, the armor truck, armor truck, the weapon truck. And if you didn't get any snacks while you were in your agency, you can grab some right here in your auto shop at the table just to the bottom of the stairs. So at this point, you are ready to go to do this heist in this, well, this contract heist, whatever you want to call it, um, with this strategy of drinking to skip the SWAT part. And if you don't know what I mean by the SWAT part, this is what I mean. Yeah, all of that fuss when they all come and you got to be like, you know, take out like 20 different swaps. Anyway, all you need to make sure you have, though, is this right here. A bottle of this <laughs> or 10 of them. So the, the key to this, and I'll talk about it more when we're doing it, is you need to drink the entire bottle. I think what was happening on the last video I did that made me just crack up in stitches laughing is that people would just take a sip of one and then move on to the next one. And then they would take a sip of all 10 but then they would just be drunk, but they wouldn't be passed out. And then they, <laughs> they had to do the whole thing like that. Um, so you got to make sure you drink the whole thing. And then we're also going to be doing a diversion, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So anyway, once you're ready, like I am right now, all we're going to do, Gerald, I'm not listening to you. I'm sorry. All we're going to do is register. We'll just do a CEO. And then here we go. The robbery. So I'm just going to keep everything here just stock standard. I'm not going to change the weapon loadout or anything like that. We are going to be doing this solo. We're not going to be changing our outfit, mask, or vehicle. All right, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for our drunken union depository heist, or contract, I should say. 
Um, so I'm going to skip this part. We'll fast forward it because the is going to be just talking here for a minute. So let's speed this up until we get inside. All right, and here we are. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now we get out of this car and then we go into this car. <laughs> it seems like a lot of wasted cars in this contract, but, you know, you do need them all. You technically are supposed to use that yellow car right there to escape. Uh, but obviously, we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to be taking this one, going up and over and in right here. Okay, three, two, one. Here we are. Now, make sure you don't ever pull any guns out right here. It does prompt you on the top left there, but just make sure you don't pull out any guns. Uh, you don't want them triggering the alarm immediately. All right, now we're just going to walk on over, chilling, and then just flash our little badge at this guard right here. Excuse me, sir. Yep, here you go. Here's my ID. Thank you. Appreciate it. And from here on out, it should be fairly easy. <laughs> it should be fairly easy. Um, now, we're going to be going for the helicopter strategy. You could do it without the helicopter, just driving, but we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do the helicopter one just because it is a little bit faster. Okay. Now, from here on out, it should be fairly easy. I say that, but I do jinx myself quite often, especially when I do the KO Perico videos uh, when we try doing the spin the wheel and stuff. It always seems to come back and bite me. So knock on wood that everything's going to go uh, pretty well here. But first things first, we need to get two-thirds of our bag of gold from here. And then once we've grabbed two-thirds from here, the alarm is going to go off. And then we're going to go behind us just over there and grab another third. We're not going to be able to pick up all the gold, obviously, because we're doing this solo. Uh, but it's still going to be a nice payday here for us. So there's the alarm. In we go. Now we just grab our last third. So don't worry, there's going to be no guards down here. There is going to be one that always seems to be stuck in the elevator. This we'll see here in a second, but it should be fine. All right, so for this strategy, though, you do need to go into this elevator. So if we go in here, you'll see a guard right there in the corner. Don't ask me what he's doing. He's mental. But this is the part we're going to skip. We're going to skip all of this SWAT that's going to be chilling around here. We don't want anything to do with these guys. Nothing at all. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a party. We're going to have a little party in here. So first things first, we'll go to inventory. We'll go to snacks and we'll just start having a little party by ourselves. Now, this is the part that's important. You need to make sure you drink the entire bottle. <laughs> Unless you want to end up like those people I was talking about that end up just sipping it and then just getting drunk. So let's speed this part up here a little bit. So you can see right now it's getting a little blurry, but that's not going to make us pass out. That's just letting us know we are indeed drunk. <laughs> so let's continue drinking. So we're going to keep drinking until we get to like four. Because we're going to want to do the disruption. Disruption? Disruption? Distraction? <laughs> I don't know, man. Leave me alone. Um, so we're going to drink this last one. Right here. And then what we're going to do, as soon as I finish sipping this, I'm going to do the distraction mission as long as I don't pass out really quick. No, okay, we're good. Um, so we're going to go to support crew. We're going to go diversion. That's the one I was going for. And then quickly make sure you go back to snacks and start drinking again. Because that diversion, you can see on the minimap, there's a car driving around. We need to make sure that that stays on there for as long as possible. So hopefully I pass out after this beer. Please pass out after this beer. Hopefully I have timed this right. I could have maybe done after one more. Okay, we do have to drink one more. So maybe do it when you're on three instead of four like I was on. But we should pass out after this one. Okay, there we go. The diversion is still driving around. You only have the diversion, though, for like a minute. So you're going to spawn right here. You are going to have to take out these guards. And then you're going to need to grab a car as fast as possible. All right, the diver... What have I got stuck on? Okay, we need to grab a car immediately. Immediately. Okay. Oh, there's one right there behind me. Now, here's the thing. The cops are going to come. You can see on my left there, there is a police officer. Hopefully, that's not the SWAT. I don't think it's the SWAT. We should be good to go. All right. And we're out of there. So, what you're going to want to do at this point, you can either go down into the sewer there and lose them and drive. Or, if you want to do the strategy, which we're going to do here is go to here. This is going to take us to the airstrip. You can see there's some cars right here. They will take out your tires. So just know that. The diversion has now gone, but it's okay. We should be good to go from this point out. We've skipped all of the SWAT. Obviously, you can see these guys right here. Uh, those guys are still going to be coming after you. Do they have a tire thing down, these guys? No. 
All right, we're still good. But we skipped the whole part where we have to shoot, where we have a huge shootout with the SWAT. We've skipped that entire part. Now we're just chilling. Now we are completely just chilling. We just need to make sure we get up here without dying. So let's speed this part up here a little bit. All right, and here we are. So there shouldn't be any cops that are going to chase you here. Obviously, you have the helicopters, right? So we need to worry about them. Um, but hopefully the SWAT helicopters don't come down. That would be like worst case scenario. I've never actually seen the SWAT helicopters drop right here. But uh, we're good. We're not going to worry about these guys too much. We have our armor as long as we don't fall off this building. And as long as there's a helicopter. Uh, I would say nine times out of ten, the helicopter does spawn up here. But if you are one of those unfortunate people that doesn't have it spawn, I'm sorry. But you all know this strategy if you've done the Diamond Casino heist, right? And the helicopter is there, and it is a police helicopter. And we're still looking good on armor. We're still looking good on armor. All right, let's continue. Let's get inside this chopper here real quick. I'm just going to go to inventory, body armor, just make sure right here that nothing sketchy happens. We also don't want to damage this. Because the helicopters are here shooting at us, uh, they can damage this. So you want to make sure you get up and out of there as fast as possible. All right, and we are... Out. We did take quite a little bit of bullets there. And you can hear my helicopter is struggling a little bit. So we just need to make sure we get over here as quick as possible. So let's speed this part up here a little bit. All right. As you can see, we're coming in perfectly right here. This is the second time. That I've had this exact location. Yesterday's video was this one too. I actually prefer the other one near the lighthouse. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, as far as the diversion is concerned, if you want to... The, the reason I don't take or start the diversion um, once I've already passed out is because once you wake up outside the police station, the SWAT cars are already going to be there from what I've noticed from experience. So you can test it out yourselves, play around with it a little bit. But for the most part... Try and do it when you've got... I would do it on the fourth beer if you're drinking them the same speed I was. Or was it the third? I can't remember. I think the third one would have been a safer bet. But that's it. And that's... <laughs> it's that simple. So do I think this strategy is easier than the other one? It definitely is easier, right? You don't have to walk out. You don't have to shoot. You don't have to take out at least like 10, 15 SWAT people before you steal the car like I did in yesterday's. This one, you just spawn outside. There's a few cops right there you can take out, grab a car... And you have your diversion going on and all of that stuff. So as you can see, 810,000. I mean, we'll take it. So what I'm going to do is this is obviously, hopefully you learned something from this video. And if you had any issues with the last video I did explaining it, hopefully this one answered your questions. Um, but what I typically do on Tuesdays is I do a video reminding you guys like, okay, we'll get, we have a new update coming soon. Because on Wednesdays, as you guys know, is when I do my weekly update video. So on Tuesdays, I let you know, now's your reminder to buy these vehicles. Now's your reminder to buy these businesses that are on sale. And I also do like how much money you can make in an hour. So when we had the hanger week, I just did the hangers for an hour, sold it, showed you guys how much. Last week, we had the acid lab. So I just did an hour's worth of acid lab and sold it. And so what I'm going to do on Tuesday this week is we're going to do an hour worth of this like how much can you actually make in an hour because obviously this heist this contract only takes about 20 25 minutes but then there's a cool down as well but during that cool down can you just join other people's and try and make some money from that and by the time you've made money from that the cool down should have finished so you should be able to do it at least again one more time so we're going to find out exactly how much you can make in an hour from this on tuesday as well as all the other uh, reminders so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please consider hitting that like subscribe if you're new to the channel and all of that good stuff and i will see you guys as always tomorrow with a brand new brand new video brand new video and uh yeah i hope you have a fantastic weekend goodbye